How's it? So, on my previous video, I've mentioned that I, I like to slide a bait for a Garrick. So, what I've decided was for this first trace demo, I want to I wanna go through the trace that I use to catch Garrick. And, uh, and most of the anglers on the, on the upper south coast, we use, we use this trace. So, so, it's a double loop trace and I'm not sure how, how clear it is. But um, this is the knot that I'm that I'm gonna be going through. So, so the front hook is obviously a figure of eight, and uh, yeah. So I wanna go through tying this knot here, right? So, so I've got a much more of a bigger hook here, just for it to be clear for the camera. So once again, I wanna tie the carrier hook. So it's just going through the eye making a huge loop and just going a few a few times preferably eight i'm just gonna do six for now two four five six so so that's basically what what i'm talking about and just with a bit of TLC on this one, you need to push the eye of the hook, try to find your, your middle loop. So if you went eight times, obviously look for the fourth and, and so forth. So once you push that through, grab the tag in with your, with your teeth and, and just set the knot. So, So that's pretty much how how the knot will set and how the knot will look. It's it's very easy. It's, it's just that you just need to just need to be careful when you're going through with the eye of look not to kink the line. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Very simple, very very short, and obviously just cut off the tag end. And you don't want your you don't want your hooks to be too far apart. As you can see with this with this trace here, it's not far at all. So, so I tend to use a straight hook. So I go with the mustard camel round because I don't want the bait the the hook turning into the bait and you don't have a hook up. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the Garrick trace that I use. So, well, for sliding and. Uh, because I slide with mono, I use I use a non-return. It doesn't make a difference for me. But if I slide with braid, or I would use a napkin pen. Uh, it, it definitely does make sliding easier with braid. So yeah, guys, that's it.